Hello, my name is Alyssa Kucher. I am founder of Healthy Fashion Campaign. I am the author of Healthy Fashion, The Deeper Truths. And I am a planetary energy healer. And in this video, it's going to be more of a lifestyle post. I'm going to be sharing with you some energy healing techniques. And this entire post is going to be about Hannah Kroger and what um, she did for her community. She, uh, Hannah Kroger, if you don't know her, was considered the grandmother of health. She owned a health food store with her husband, Rudolph, in Colorado um, years ago. She is no longer alive, and Rudolph is no longer alive. And sh they were amazing people. They owned a chapel and a retreat. They had a line of supplements and herbs. Uh, Hannah Kroger's sh herb shop is still uh, open today and run by her grandson, Alberto Kroger, and her daughter, Gisela, runs the supplement herb shop. Not, not the actual. So Alberto runs the herb shop and the uh, Gisela runs the supplement store. So in this post I'm going to be showing you all kinds of tips that I've learned from Hannah Kroger and I have a special connection with Hannah Kroger's work and I've learned so many amazing things and I continue to learn so many amazing things from Hannah. And Hannah Kroger okay, was an author. She wrote lots of books and I'm going to show you some of the books. I'm not showing you all the books that I have to actually buy new copies because I use them so much or I flip through them a lot. They're the type of books that you kind of peruse through. You read them through but you can also just use them as reference. These are some of her books, and I'll go through each one really quickly. Good Health Through Special Diets. I've learned a lot of interesting recipes and different types of um, cleanses. I, I believe that there's different, if you have a different ailment, you can take certain foods and um, drinks in order to help the ailment. I really like uh, on page 81 unusual health recipes. They, she's got some really interesting recipes to share. I haven't tried most of them but I'd like to. M maple baked apple onion soup to assimilate vitamin C, eggplant caviar, muesli is a good one. So good health through special diets and I had gotten this copy off Amazon and it says her name. I think it was her signature, which is very special. And this is God helps those who help themselves. Uh, there's just it's packed with information. What I like about her books is she has an extensive table of contents. An extensive table of contents. So you can look through the table of contents to find out, you know, what you need help with. Um, the biomagnetic energy is something I still have to do. You push, basically you take your hands and you go specific motions on your body to uh, support the magnetism in your body, um, to eliminate any demonic technology. But this is, uh, I mean, an incredible book with so much information. Uh, I mean, it's, she goes through um, different types of causes of ill health, neglect, trauma, congestion, 
parasites, metals and poisons, infections. So she really gets um, deep into the subjects. So we have new book on healing. This is also a sort of a reference book. As you can see, there's different, oh, and this is, I believe this is one of Alberto's illustrations. Her, her, his, her grandson did some of the illustrations for her books. So, new book on healing, and he's a very uh, amazing illustrator today. So there's different ailments that she labels nausea, nerves, nervous conditions, pituitary problems, and then she gives, uh, you know, an instruction on how to heal it. So pituitary problems, she says watercress will help with pituitary problems. Alternate one bunch of watercress a day. Next day, six ounces of pineapple juice two times a day. And another one is wild cherry bark tincture, seven drops twice a day. So these have a lot of herbs, uh, spices, foods, different types of beverages to, to use, um, but all kinds of herbs and spices specifically too, and different types of fruits, all kinds of things, veggies and foods. The next Lastly, and I and she has got a bunch of books, but I'm only showing you a few. The Seven Spiritual Causes of Ill Health, and I do have to purchase new books. Some of these books I had gotten off Amazon. I didn't realize that I could have ordered them from Hannah's Herb Shop, so I'm going to be getting new copies from Hannah's Herb Shop soon so that I can, you know, have some t that are pre more preserved. But the seven spiritual causes of ill health, this is, I think, one of her last books she wrote because it, it says copyright 1988. And this book was, is really interesting because I, I'm really into um, spirituality and she talks about entities and voodoo curses and different, all kinds of things, karma. I really like this book. This is one of my favorite books. I do like the, the herbalism books, but I have to, I think, actually try the recipes more than just peel, look through them. So Hannah Kroger's books I do recommend. Uh, they're very fun to look through, and, you know, if you have an ailment, most of the... recipes are cheap uh, to make. You know, if you buy an herb for like $10 and if you can heal it from, a, from an herb. But you, of course, we're multidimensional. We have to go different directions. So what she does is she works with the energy body with biomagnetics. She works with herbs, uh, prayer, all kinds of things that you can use. And what I'm going to do is create a list and print it off and hopefully laminate the list so that I can go through each one throughout the day and probably put, you know, like a sticky note or uh, next to each one that I've been able to do and then just move down the list. So that's my goal. Uh, another thing that I use is Hannah Kroger's supplements by Kroger Herb. So, I have more in the cupboard, but these are the ones I'm going to show you. Circuit Flow. I do have some um, heart stroke problems, so this has been helping a lot. Circuit Flow has all kinds of amazing things. Vitamin C, selenium, chromium, hawthorn berry, horse to extract. Their herbal combinations are amazing. And then I have Healthy Gut and Heart Care Blend. Uh, this one has been really soothing my stomach. And like I said, in order to get into a routine, 
you I, I really have to take lists write down lists and follow the list throughout the day and also you know set alarms and different things so we went through the book the supplements and then I have water electrolyzer by Hannah one of uh, her inventions the water electrolyzer this I believe um, has a magnet in it and it magnetizes the water so it, it helps the water get up magnetized and electri electrolyzed because we're electrical beings and having electrolyzed magnetized water is really good for us um, one other tip that I've learned recently from seven spiritual causes of ill health is to raise your left hand and you place this hand on someone's body with or your own and I'm going to place it on my heart so basically when you breathe in you're breathing in the universe energy your hand is now becoming an antenna to the Godhead the divine the great spirit universe whatever you want to call it your higher self is becoming an antenna and then when you breathe in the energy is coming through into you, this hand So this is a, a really important energy tool to use when you want to increase your energy. You breathe in, the energy comes through, and then it also comes through into this hand. So you're taking the, the universal energy through this palm as an antenna, and it's being put in this hand. Uh, your hands are powerful healers. and. Lots of times when we go through life, we don't really use our hands on our body for healing. But, you know, it's very important to use do energy work and place your hands on your body. It's very, very important. And having this antenna is also very important, and it helps. Um, I think in one of her other books, she'd use this as the antenna, and then she'd place this hand on a, a person's body. And if, she, if, say, you want to do an exorcist on someone, you place your hand on the body, and then this, it would actually come out of this palm. So that's another way. There's so many different ways you can use your hands for healing the body, mind and soul. So the next one I wanted to suggest is birthright tea. I have not tried it yet but it is also in seven spiritual causes of ill health. And there's a lot of people on this planet who are called the programmed children, as Hannah would like to say. And the programmed children are those who have been sort of um, isolated from their family members and any friends or people in society. So if you tend to be pushed out of the society, if you were unwanted as a child, unwanted in your family um, you know you're, whoever in your family this decided that they didn't want you in your in their in their family then you should take birthright t birthright b i r t h r i g h t and you can get that at Hannah's herb shop and i am only supporting this company this is not a sponsored post because i truly um, support their company. I think what they're doing is really amazing. Um, another thing that I do, and I've lost my pendulum. I've lost it a couple times this week. I don't know. It's a tiny pendulum, so it's easy to lose somewhere around here. So I'm going to use a necklace, and this is actually this, this is actually Hannah Kroger's Cross of Christ pendant, and I put it on a chain to wear, but we're going to use it as a pendulum. So, if it goes to the right, it means yes, and if it, if it goes to the right, it means no. So, I will ask it a question and show you. This, this is also like an antenna to the universe, to the Godhead, to the Great Spirit. Uh, this is a very important tool for those who want to ask questions. 
that they don't really know, but it's not a psychic questions. It's questions that um, are, are focused on, you know, food and health and well-being. And it's not not psychic questions. It's like, what type of food should I eat today? That kind of thing. So I'm going to ask this question. Should I drink, should I take a sip of this tea right now? I know it's a simple question, but it so it's going right. And look at my palm. Look at look at my hand. It's not moving. So I'm going to take a sip of it. I don't usually use two tea bags, but I was tired this morning. Okay, I'm going to ask another question. Does this wa does this magnetize water and enhance people's water and give them more energy? Now look at my palm and how it's not moving. My hands are not moving, but the, the but the necklace is. This is the pendulum. It's going right because it's yes. It does enhance water. Let me ask a question that. Um, what, what like were these books written by Hannah Kroger? Look at my hand. I'm not moving my hand. It says it's going clockwise. It means yes. Clockwise is yes. Counterclockwise is no. The pendulum has helped me a lot. It doesn't always work because there is interference because of all the negative toxicity on the, in the planet, because of all the interference, um, you know, the demonic evil interference that sometimes this doesn't work. But typically it will work, especially when you're um, connected with your higher self and the divine godhead. So that's an important tool that uh, she wrote a book too. Anna Kroger wrote a book called The Pendulum Book. And I do have it, but I didn't, didn't show you that in this video. So we've got energy healing without God universe. So I just wanted to briefly mention, and I, I just happened to find it in the book this morning. So I'm going to share it with you. One time, well, several times I've gotten energy healings. And they last for a couple days, and then I feel exhausted. I feel like nothing happened. And I feel worse than before I got the energy healing. And that has happened before with sessions, energy healing sessions with um, energy healers that I've used. So if you choose to, to get an energy healing by someone else, you have to make sure that they are connected with their higher power, the great universe, uh, as what she would call, the uh, hand cooker in the book has called it illumination. Um, you know, you have to connect with the great spirit. You have to connect with the heart, the Godhead. You have to, while you're doing the healing. Because no, because if you're doing the healing without your higher self and without the higher powers, the healing is not going to work. And... It's, it's not good to um, do that to people because she says you will get punished. There will be karma involved if you attempt to do an energy healing alone, like without the Godhead. So you have to call upon um, Great Spirit, as I like to call it, in order to um, bring in the in energy healing f and, you know, there's lots of things to say about that, but I'll just I'll just say that. Another thing that's very important is the prayer hands, and I've been um, doing this now. When you put your hands together, you're gonna feel warmth. You're gonna feel like a, a sensation that is unusual. It's not just warmth. It's not just blood. This is uh, extremely powerful to do, and it's going to heal your entire body because you're placing your hands, which are the energy centers that you use for energy healing together. It's gonna to go through your entire body. And also, Hannah Kroger has said that when you pray, you don't have to keep your hands like this when you pray, but it's nice too if you remember. Hannah Kroger says, when you pray your blood, becomes activated and the blood is very important part of your body so when your blood becomes activated 
many things will occur. A few more things, because I wanted to keep this post a little bit shorter than the others. Uh, Hannah Kroger has written, and well, I just read a, a couple chapters of this recently, so. Um, she says, the aura of the earth is not functioning, and lots of people say that there's a crystalline energy grid that needs to become activated within the universe in order for spiritual awakening and spiritual ascension to occur. So, uh, in regards to the aura not, of earth not functioning, uh, uh, the light workers on the planet are attempting to activate it. Also, Hannah has said that there is an eggshell shape around us and it's our aura, the energy aura. And what I didn't really realize is you have to constantly um, fill it. You have to fill the aura uh, because the aura actually needs to be filled. I didn't know that and I think that's very important information because lots of times people think, oh, we have an aura and that's what it is. But we actually have to constantly fill Feel the aura uh, to strengthen it. And a few more tips uh, that I find that are have been really helping me throughout my life is black tea for depression. If you feeling you know like you're depressed or you need some energy, black tea is really good. Black tea. You can put some sweetener in it. You can put uh, whatever you want. Some creamer. But I, I like black tea plain most of the time. And we talked about the books. And just a few things that I will mention um, that I've been doing that has been helping me with um, just cleansing, protecting myself from anything that's evil, and just healthy things to do. I went to the dentist recently and they said that I have some mild I believe gingivitis so I've been gargling with sea salt in the morning before I brush my teeth I've been gargling with warm water and sea salt and my teeth have been feeling much better and part of this gingivitis is because I have a extreme teeth grinding, teeth grinding problem and this teeth grinding problem has been going on for th probably 20 years <laughs> So it's it's been really challenging. There's definitely some things as to why I'm teeth grinding that I can't talk about. So the sea salt gargle is really helpful to um, ha for any inflammation in the gums that you may have. Uh, cedar, is this cedar? No, it's Palo Santo. Palo Santo. You burn this and you burn it around yourself. This will help strengthen your aura and get rid of any residual energies. And you burn it into your home. It's like incense. It's a very, very nice scent. It's very refreshing. There are two more aromatherapeutic tools that I use. I have bought this at Target, Lavender Bergamot Spray. This is down-to-earth solutions that are up-to-earth standards. Lavender and bergamot room spray. This is very nice, and I, I believe I'll, I'm going to be linking all of these products down into the description box. But this lavender spray is really nice, and you can also spray it on your clothes when you want to freshen up your clothing. And I also have this Earth Lux. Now these aren't Hannah's products, but I. I want to show you a few more things. Earth Lux essential oil spray. Now, I don't like to put um, perfumes that are just oil based. This has more of a um, liquidy. Uh, it's more liquidy than the oil based perfumes, and most perfumes out there I'm allergic to because of the types of chemicals that they're using and um, it within the perfume. So this essential oil infused aromatherapy spray is so nice. I particularly like this vanilla ginger mandarin oil spray. Uh, so 
I haven't been able to wear perfume in the longest time. I haven't really done enough research to find aromatherapy perfume sprays, but this is great. I love it. And I need to get more of it. Probably a bigger bottle too. So that is everything. Uh, th these are my tips and I hope you enjoyed this video. Hannah Kroger was an amazing uh, planetary energy healer. She was a reverend. She was an herbalist. She was a pendulum dowser. She was a health food store owner. And, and she she did so many things that I don't understand how she had the time. And she was an author. I don't understand how she had the time to do all these things. I think she was definitely uh, just an amazing, amazing soul. And oh, well, uh, another thing that she does talk about is well, we'll just end it here. But karma, she does talk about karma, and um, I, in my in my lifetime, I believe that. If you are a soul, if you're an advanced being, most of this karma is not even yours. If you have a lot of negative things that happen to you, you have to remember bad things happen to good people. So it's not really your karma. If you feel like you're getting punished in this world, it's, it's not meaning you're getting punished by karma. It means that you're an advanced being and people want to take you down. So you have to understand the difference between karma and because when people say karma, oh that's karma, there's th there's different things that would make things karma, karmic, but in most cases, and if you're watching this video, you're most likely a light worker, and things are happening to you that are interference and then it's not karma so like I said I hope you enjoyed this video please check out uh, Hannah's herb shop uh, and please uh, check out her uh, her work her books her supplements everything she is she was an amazing 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 healer and I believe she still lives on. She still lives on. She's not dead. I think that she definitely still lives on. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. And have a great day.